Hello, gamers. How are you all doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking, chat. Let me explain. I'm late today. Guess why I'm late? I'm late because suddenly, randomly, for no reason whatsoever that I can tell, Epic has decided that Kiwi Farms violates their terms of service, which was a surprise to me because Brian Royce, the CEO of Epic, uh, had told me personally that there would be no issue with Epic and Kiwi Farms. So I had to, to probe a little bit because, of course, when these things happen, I never notified. I don't get an email. Nobody tells me what the fuck is going on. I just notice that I'm getting an SSL error on the Kiwi Farms. I contact them and I say, oh, by the way, you violated your terms of service. I'm like, okay, that's strange because no paragraph mentioned. And as far as I'm aware, the terms of service didn't change. Nobody contacted me about it. Um, so I probe a little bit further. I said, that's weird because, you know, I, uh, Brian Royce, the CEO, he told us that it should be fine. Uh, and I said, oh, Brian Royce is no longer at Epic. So we don't know what happened is um, Epic used to be owned by a guy called Rob Monster. Rob Monster was a very free speech guy. However, he was um, the owner of Epic when 8chan was on Epic. And when the January 6th stuff happened, or was it, was it Jan I think it was either January 6th or the Christchurch incident, but Bro Rob Monster was so buck broken by whatever the fuck happened from what, whichever incident it was that he's actually uh, told me cause I had nine Chan registered with them, uh, that Epic no longer allowed any image boards whatsoever on their service. So if you ran an image board, you could not use Epic point blank because Rob monster has like PTSD from HN and will no longer allow it. So, um, I moved off of that. Uh, but then at some point Epic had a takeover and Rob monster was no longer CEO. He was a member of the board, but, uh, Brian Royce, a libertarian from Las Vegas, uh, had taken the reins and he assured us that there'd be no issue with image boards and no issues with the Kiwi farms. So, uh, we've been on there for quite some time. However, apparently unbeknownst to me, Brian Royce's takeover of Epic was not a humble, um, uh, a smooth transition. It was what's called in, I think in the, the corporate world, it's what's called a hostile takeover. What is a hostile takeover? It means that Brian Royce tried to steal the company from uh, Rob Monster. And um, Rob Monster was actually not okay with this. It wasn't actually something he was good with. What had happened is that, I, I, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Monster. But so, at some point, Epic stole like a fuckload of domains from their customers um, and owed millions of dollars to people and had lost like a, a, a lawsuit or some shit. And all throughout this, I had no choice. I was just kind of like, I have one little domain worth nine, like, what is it, like $13 right now for a dot, .NET domain um, from VeriSign. So I have like a $14 dollar stake a year stake in epic and i'm just sitting there and then there's like all these domain brokers fighting over millions of dollars worth of domains and i'm just sitting there like oh i hope i don't get noticed uh but brian was apparently in there to take uh, to to manage manage this transition uh from their uh their issues and at some point apparently in may he had left and nobody told me so um i i just stayed with them and then uh, I get an email today that we violated their TOS. So um, after yelling at them <laughs> and after yell uh, contacting VeriSign and contacting ICANN and the EFF and FIRE and everyone else I could think of and also spamming it on Twitter and Telegram and asking their customers to contact them to tell them what the fuck are they doing, they have given me the transfer codes. So now I have the ability to transfer their domain safely to another registrar. However, chat, would, would any of you who have been paying attention like to guess what the issue is now? I have 24 hours to transfer the domain and I have the transfer codes and the domain is ready to be transferred. What is the issue? There are none. There are no places to put it. And I have <clears throat> 23, 22 and a half hours to figure out where to put it. I'm checking my watch my, my uh, invisible watch, and indeed, uh, the seconds are passing by uh, rapid, uh, rapidly. Uh, so I've reached out to everyone I could think of, 
and uh, asked if they had a suggestion. And now I'm contacting companies right before the stream went live. I contacted a bunch of companies. I said, Hey, my name's Josh. I run a website called the Kiwi Farms. It's uh, just what happens to be the most contentious de-platform website in fucking existence right now. That's U.S. legal, of course. Uh, there are websites that are harder to get up on the internet, but they host really bad things that most people find repulsive. Uh, but as far as U.S. legal content goes, we are at the top. Um, I, and... Uh, I, I don't know who to trust with it because there are Chinese registrars that I've used um, who did a pretty good job of hosting us. Like, for instance, Sneed today was was the registrar of Nice Nick, which is based out of Hong Kong, I believe. Uh, issue is, is that my .NET is my KiwiForms.net. I can't just put that on some random registrar, you know, because it might it, like the Chinese might just take it. Um, so I want something legitimate that I can sue if something happens. Um that's in the West and it just, it just has to be a parking domain for a little bit and says, Oh, the site's down again. Guess the <laughs> site's down again. Uh, use this domain instead. And then I can go back to fucking around with 8 million different uh, side domains if I really have to. Uh, so that is the situation. That's when I've been up with right before the stream. Um, I've asked people on the zitter that I have the transfer codes um, and I'm trying to figure out where to, where to take it to. Someone suggested, um, Gandhi. Gandhi was the first domain registrar to boot us off. Uh, Gandhi spread a lie that we hosted child pornography. Uh, we did not. Gandhi basically permanently damaged our reputation. I would suggest Gandhi to literally no one. Um, the other person suggested Google domains. Here's a fun fact, right? I actually use Google domains for a lot of stuff. And I think at some point Google realized being a domain registrar is a really, really bad idea for them because they want to censor everything. Like you can't find Kiwi Farms on Google search unless you specifically mention Kiwi Farms. You will never get a Kiwi Farms link for, for almost any search term. And you'll never find KiwiFarms.net, just the homepage on Google ever because they block they blacklisted that page from their, their results. So they want to censor the internet, but they don't want to be caught censoring the internet. So if they're a domain registrar, um, that's bad news because they're going to be really neutral about stuff, but they don't want to be. So they've actually sold all their domains to something called Squarespace, which I don't know, I don't trust at all. Um, so I can't transfer to Google domains, or I would. I would in a heartbeat transfer everything to Google domains. Um, just, even if it, you know, just for parking purposes. And then I would trust that Google would not fuck it up, but I can't trust anything else. Um, so I'm just kind of poking around. Yeah. I, I'm not going to, I'm going to move shit off Google domains. I don't want to go on Squarespace. I don't trust them. Yeah. Squarespace bought Google domains. Isn't that crazy? What's funny is that Google even bought like dot Google. And if you go to domains dot Google, uh, you get their domain registrar page and they bought a bunch of domains. They bought like dot zip and a bunch of really nice TLDs and they're not a registrar themselves. Mystery chat mystery. Anyways, uh, Infowars uses, um, Cloudflare, we're banned from Cloudflare, go figure. Rumble uses something called Two Cows, and I've actually emailed Two Cows, and I've asked them about the Kiwi Farms, and they said, no, don't bother. <laughs> so, I, I mean, really, and what's Cozy use? Cozy.tv is on Epic, so we're banned we're banned from the Infowars registrar, we're banned from the 4chan and Rumble registrar, which is Two Cows, and we're banned from the Cozy TV registrar, which is Epic. <laughs> Uh, isn't it funny? Incognite, they're not uh, their own registrar. There's two companies that I would trust, but they um, they're not a, they're not open yet. They're not open for business. They're not open to to carry the hot potato. So, uh, such is life. So I will look into this. Obviously, I it, last if I have one registrar, which I'm pretty sure will do it. Um. But just for a parking page, I'll just I'll just throw it at them and see what happens. Hopefully they'll just kick us off and it won't force me to yell at them. On, dude, I listen. I love Elon Musk. I love Elon Musk so much because there was a time for a very long time where I had no voice. I had no ability to go out into the world on the digital platform and yell at people for doing me wrong. Right now with with X, I am completely unchanged. I am unchained and unhinged. If you 
if you fuck with me, I have almost 10,000 followers. I can just say, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. And then 10,000 other people are like, yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. And it's great. It's the best. It's the, it's like, it, I don't know. It's like a fucking steroid shot in my brain. I can feel it, Chad. I can feel it. Um, I do pay. I would pay. I would literally pay $50 a month to Elon Musk. Okay. I, I would pay $88 a month to Elon Musk. Okay. We are. Yeah, we, that's true. The, individually, individually, we are small little sticks like a twig. <laughs> be broken underfoot by the powers that be but together chat together our little twigs are bound and we become a mighty faggot chat a mighty faggot that they can bend and bend with all their might but this faggot cannot be broken chat that's right all right uh let us begin the stream wonderful excellent i got that energy i got that adrenaline chat i got that adrenochrome um, so, I'm going to do something that I've never done. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.